Happy Super Sunday. We are here live. We're going a little bit early. Want to give you guys a little bit of a look at what's happening here. I know you got a little bit for everything to catch up. Yeah, awesome stuff. So, so we got a little bit of a little bit of a, a preview there going on. Again, happy Sunday. Hope everybody's doing well. Let's make sure this gets all caught up. How are you guys doing? Shout out to my guy, Big Red EDC in the house. What's up, Big Red? What's going down, buddy? Got some colors on the table. Oh, man. I I hooked it up this morning. I drove down there. Got my uh, ice. Little Dutch love. I got a special for you guys because I made a trip somewhere else as well. Oh, man. So awesome. Saw Luke in the channel early. Saw Jason. Saw Ethan Ruins EDC. Poncho 151. Orange Hat Outdoors. Alcus Harris. Jason Brown. Mark Grant. Mother Mark and Ethan, both members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Nick Martino in the house, Chicago 23, KJ Pearson, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, Gold Joe 13, so awesome you guys, Big Red EDC, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, we got Paper Tiger in the house, Lion Knives, CK is in the house, CK is another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, we got the Wallaby in the house. Penny Ripple in the house. Penny's another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. We got Chad in the house. We got Lisa in the house. Man, Tim Cook's in the house. It's a good crew this morning. I love it. The Lawn Ranger's here. What's up, Lawn Ranger? Jersey Knife Guy's in the house. Man, what a special Sunday. Jersey Knife Guy in the house. Blessing us with his presence. Thank you so much, my friend. We got Ronald in the house, Mr. G and VT's in the house, Luke, 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 I think it's Luke, Luke is in the house, man, so many great people here, Lavender Pants 86, Lavender Pants, shout out to you, man, Napster Ninja's here, what's up, Napster Ninja, Blue EDC's in the house, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, Northwoods Knife Guy, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew in the house. Man, we're having some fun today. We're going to look at some knives. William Lenderman's here. What's up, William? Mark Bellwood's here. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. DNA Hanks is here. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Nice. Ooh, smoking some ribs today. Yeah. B Wax is here. Dan Yellerman's here. Man. Not DG is here. Lorenzo's here. What's up, Lorenzo? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Mikey Rast is here. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Man, the crew's in the house. I love it. You guys are great. Now, we're going to take a look at some of these real quick. I know we've looked at these before. What's up, Joshua Wilson? But one of the cool parts is these are ones you can order yourself. You know, I'm going to do a little plug for the Knife Builder because I love it. Some sweet options in there. And you know, if things keep going the way they're going, I hope we get to see our mini bug out in there and we get to see our 940 Osborne in there. That's the goal. So that's pretty cool stuff. Now, I will say this. YouTube's been a little glitchy lately. So bear with us. I appreciate everybody being patient. Shout out to my guy, Big Red. I know there was some YouTube controversy last night, but we're getting the bugs worked out. Just like my stuff. Dang it. I hope I don't have any problems today. Oh, Planes Crafter. Welcome. Let's give Planes Crafter some love. Joining up for Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. That's awesome. Kloss is in the house. Winchester Inc.'s here. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. The Ordoc is here. What's up, Ordoc? Yes, yeah, C. Lemansky, what up? Now, I will say this. I put a little poll up in the Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Uh, not a poll, but a, just more of a question with a photo. 
and I'm going to show you guys those, those knives here in a minute. And I want your guys' opinions on them because we had really good opinions, but I want to show you how close they are. So anyways, these are some awesome Benchmade bug outs. You have everything from red accents on Grivery, the FRN handles. This is kind of a throwback to my buddy, Big Red. Inspiration for this knife. Fantastic. You know, and of course, my you got to have some blue G10 in your life. Little black barrel spacers, black hardware, black liners, black access bar, black thumb studs, black blade, S30V, you know, kind of a basic model, but it matches my collection. Love it. And then a little shout out to Big Red here. Got some red accents on a 20 CV blade with black G10. Fantastic. Yeah, this is a this is an opening for Ethan Ruins EDC. I knew this would make his day. I want to make sure he had a fantastic Sunday. So we're going with some bug out mania for him. Just for him. Yeah, you could make an all blacked out model too. That would be pretty sweet looking. Oh, line knives. We're gonna get into the carry here in a little bit because I want to show off this other thing really quick. Yeah, there's a link right there. If you want to join up, you want to be a member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, you can join up right there. Help support the channel. Your support is so much appreciated. What's up, B for Baron? Yeah, Mikey Rass, what's up? Now, the, the funny part is this. You guys, literally, today's giveaway was supported by the members of this channel. So, just, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to give any hints other than it's an EDC giveaway. So it opens it up to international, all sorts of fun stuff. But there's some cool stuff in there. And you know me, I want to make sure you guys are taken care of. So anyways, that's coming up later on the channel. We also have some cool new knives on the channel we're going to look at. One that I have not even touched yet. It's still, I'm going to give you a little preview. It's still wrapped up. So I've taken it out of the box, but I haven't opened it, haven't touched it since it came in this last week because I want to open it here live. See what's up for you guys. So, yeah, Donkey Dave's here. What's up, Donkey Dave? B for Baron, recent winner of uh, some, some Zach's giveaway items. Pretty awesome. Thanks for being here, Beefer. Um, let's see here. Okay, so out of these three, of course, you know what my selection is going to be. I got to rock my blue G10 bug out. This is one of the ones I carry a lot. You can see some wear already going on the coating and all that. I pulled this one out of my rotation to put it up here. So that's one of my favorites. But these two, I, I could see either one of these being favorites of Big Red. You know, you got some subtle favorites right here. But I think I saw a comment from Nick earlier. Thanks, you guys, for being here early, man. The chat's awesome. Um, I was rocking out to a new song. And if you're from the Pacific Northwest, it kind of hits home because it talks about a lot of things here in the Pacific Northwest. But it's a cool song from Ronnie Wright. And it's got Versatile on it. And it's called North of Cali. So I'd love to play it for you, but they don't allow that with copyright stuff. So if you get a chance, look it up. It's called North of Cali. From Ronnie Wright, R O N N I E W R I G H T, uh, local guy here. He sings some awesome songs. He's kind of got that like, I don't know if you want to say Keith Sweat vibe, but kind of more local, jazzy. And then Versatile's got some good bars that he drops. And he talks about a lot of local stuff from here to Seattle, those kind of things. Yeah, Big Red, I think you would like it too. It's got some cool stuff there. So, anyways, talks about, you know, your drive on I 5 and other stuff going on. So, Anyways, that's what I was rocking out to this morning, getting hyped up for doing this live. I, I got to get into that. I got to do some songs prior. So, Chicago 23 spent a little money on an LUDT Microtech. Oh, and an Alpha Mini. Nice. What's up, Alex? Alexander's in the house. Yeah, definitely listen to it later, you know. And if you want a link to it, hit me up. Send me a message on Instagram or something. What's up, Kiefer? Kiefer's in the house, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. 
Welcome, my friend. Happy Super Sunday. Rock out with your blades out. Heck yeah. And that was kind of a song where, you know, I was feeling kind of this knife right here. This knife was kind of what I was feeling when I was listening to it. You know, kind of real, just laid back, easy going, little accents to pop. I love that. Uh-oh. Mikey said you got a little back and forth, huh? What's up, Mark Grant? Welcome, Mark Grant, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you, my friend. Knives Fast is here. Never late, my friend. Never late. Just early for the next one. Get a little sip of tea. Okay. Now, here's the controversy that I posted on my channel for my members. What's up, James Martinez? So, I want your opinion. Left or right? Which one is the stock Benchmade and which one is Rogue Bladeworks? You'll see a video coming up on this stuff, but. So, Nice Fast Cinnamon Spice from Harney and Sons. They sell it at my local Dutch. It's pretty awesome. They double cup it because it's served like 220 degrees. So I let it cool off for about a half hour. What's up, Ron Forbes? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Welcome, my friend. Carlito Triple Fives here. Mark Bellwood says, right is the bench made. Boom, 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 boom. So let's see. Nick says, let no left. What's up, Sean T? Welcome, welcome. Nice. Those are some good choices. Nice, fast. Yeah, so I'm really curious on what your thoughts are, right or left. Which one is the Benchmade stock? And which one's Rogue Blade Works? If I flip them over, yeah, Harney. Harney and Sons. It's good stuff, Plains Crafter. Can you see your comments? I can see your comments. Oh, resolution should be good. It's yeah, I'm looking at it on my other monitor, same feed you guys have, and it has a, it has a pretty decent resolution. I can bring them closer, but I figured this is pretty good for you guys to zoom in or whatnot. Joshua says left rogue, no clip holes. It's definitely grainy, huh? Well, let's see here. Does this get any better when I get it closer? It looks pretty good on my side. Okay, you don't think it's me? And then here's the left one. Now, both of them are very close. But I think, you know, some of your thoughts, some of your comments are pretty good about that. All right, what's up, Russ? Welcome, welcome. So the resolution looks fine. Right on, right on. Tom's in the house. What's up, Tom? Form D Productions is in the house. It says, right is stock. Nick says, no, it's fuzzy. Should be all good on our end. I'm seeing a I'm pretty darn clear picture on my uh, tablet here. And I'm getting it through the, the, the internet stream. We'll plug it in just to make sure. We'll plug in the camera here. Looks good to Lorenzo. All right. Maybe it's, maybe it's where you're at. Maybe it's the jade. The jade's messing it all up. But what we'll do is this. So I'm going to flip them over. Okay, Big Red said picture's good there too, right on. So we're going to flip them over. So here's right. Here's left. What's up, Dustin? Nice. So the right one is stock bench made. It's the new one in S90V limited edition. I'd get a mini Crooked River, Luke, definitely. And this is the one I made from Rogue Blade Works. So, and this was like almost two years ago that I, I got this one. I guess he's got a new set of version two out. That's a little bit different cut through here. So, what's up, M237? Yeah, so anyway, so right is stock production. 
So shout out to all the members of Zach's Daily Carrier Crew for checking those out and throwing in your guests. And for all you guys here today, throwing your guests down, pretty cool stuff. But either way, very, very similar. Some minor, minor differences. As you guys could tell, the Rogue Blade Works was drilled for left or for right-handed carry only, not for left-handed. So, and then Backspacer would give it away as well, but didn't show that off. So, anyways, yeah, you know, I would love to see back-to-back -back winners today from last year. That would be awesome. But I think in my mind, there's some amazing talent with the Brady Bunch. So, oh yeah, so there's some Rogue Blade Works stuff for you right there. He's got some mini bug out scales on there. And I've been talking to him, being like, hey, you got to set you gotta set those up and get some other ones done because I need some blue G10 for my mini freak. I had literally have one that's torn apart. Let me show, let me show you. I'm literally waiting. <laughs> Look at this. I'm literally waiting for my blue G10 scales. So there's, there's a mini freak just chilling, just waiting. <laughs> oh, I tell you. But what's up, Rodney? Rodney Pearson's in the house. What's up, buddy? Another member of Zach's Daily Carrier Crew. Awesome person. Thanks for all your support, buddy. Okay, so what do we show on now? What's up now? Well, actually, let's do this. Let me let me show you what I did this morning. Because of the, the live stream we had Friday and the conversation we got into, this is this is what I went and did this morning. Look at this. These are just two of the amazing things that I got from Voodoo. Now, this is a this is a, a, a special edition Super Sunday Voodoo. You got like your special edition one. They did a special one for today. And then on the left, you have Maple Bacon Bar. Bacon Maple Bar, whatever you want to call it. They are fantastic. I have a full box that I picked up, but it is too big to show on the screen. But yes, Voodoo Donuts, fantastic. But I'll give you a little bit closer look so you can see kind of the bacon. It's like fried all in there. This is a this is like a jelly filled Voodoo Donut. It's got a pep, uh, pretzel stick sticking out of it. Yes, so. I'm happy to send one of these in the mail, but after a few days, it may not be the best thing. So, anyways. <laughs> yep, who do the voodoo? So, that's pretty cool stuff. So, you guys got me talking into it. I know Christine from Women Carry Knives, she's going to be all bummed out because she was like, oh my gosh, I need to go find one. So, anyways, yeah, the Great Bape is fantastic. I actually have one of those in my box that came with it this morning. I will say, yeah, FedEx overnight. There you go. Keeper's like, FedEx overnight, buddy. Get the whole box and FedEx it here. It'll survive the trip. Definitely a place crafter. So put those up. Put them in a little guarded uh, container so they don't get spoiled this morning. But yes, fantastic. Uh, half eaten, Ethan. A uh, half eaten for a dollar. I was kind of bummed, though, because I ordered an extra uh, donut and they forgot it. <laughs> what's up ian goodman what's up buddy another member of zach's daily carrier crew thank you for your support my friend there's the link right there you can check it out i'm not sure if they're doing delivery but if they do hook it up if not find one that's close to you when you're on your next trip out out and about the maple bacon is fantastic they both i mean all their stuff is pretty good so yeah you could shrink wrap it you can put it in one of those containers and send it. Keep them all fresh. Oh, yes. Thanks to Big Red for all his help. Thank you so much, my friend. Yeah, Lorenzo knows what's up. Uncle Cow's here. What's up, Uncle Cow? Welcome, my friend. Libertarian's here. What's up, Libertarian? Thank you guys for being here. Oh, you went and bought the coffin and donuts? Yeah, that's so cool. They do some really cool things there. They do a bucket too. Have you guys heard of that? They do a bucket like, uh, you know, a lot of the like 
mistakes or other stuff. You can buy a bucket for like five bucks or something. Maybe it's 15 bucks. And there's like 50 donuts in there. It's crazy. They do good stuff, especially for the community here. They do some good things. So I like to support. They keep it funky. They keep it real. And yeah, good stuff. Okay, so what's up next? Let's go ahead. Let's take a peek at a knife that has not been seen by many. And I want your guys' opinions on this because this is one of those that, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm torn on it because it's one of those things where you can get, oh, the mini Adamus. No, I can't show that yet. I saw somebody do a sneak peek of a knife that's not out yet on YouTube. And I was like, oh, that's nice. I, I wish I could put my review up. I already have my review done, but I'm under some different guidelines than most people. So, but this is a Skaha 2 from North Arm Knives. And so I got the carbon fiber. Yeah, let's smash that like button. Heck yeah. But I really want to show you guys what's coming from the, and you know what? I kind of kicked myself. The carbon fiber is beautiful. It's contoured. It's a beautiful, beautiful flipper knife. They do fantastic work. Let's see how centering is. Look at that. Spot on centering. Yeah, what up next, Archer? But I'll tell you what. It's, it's a fantastic knife. I haven't opened it. Like I said, I'm looking at it the same time you guys are. Little Canadian flag up there from BC. Shout out to all my friends up in British Columbia. But yeah, carbon fiber is beautiful, so I had to go with carbon fiber scales. I had a previous Skaha, the original version. There's only one thing I don't I don't like about the new one. They got rid of those grind lines. And I know some of you guys like the the new grind, but I don't know. I kind of dug, you know, I was into. I dig the uh, the grind lines on the other one. Now this is going to be much better for cutting those things. S35VN, they even put a little serial number underneath it, but really, really nice laser markings on it, or engraving, I should say. This side of the knife, totally plain, no markings whatsoever. The flipper tab does stick out quite a bit. I mean, for me, they fit perfectly in my hand. It's so smooth. Yeah, that's true with the old looks like the others. Yeah, totally. What's up, NLKG? So it's kind of, I'm kind of torn. Like I really, I mean, this is going to be slicey. They said it's like 30 degrees. Um, the liner lock is super smooth. And the action is amazing. They do have that little cutout for your liner lock. And it's just super, I mean, it doesn't stick. It's super smooth. And you guys, have, you know, if you follow their Instagram stuff, you see how much attention and detail they put into it. There's a link right there from Big Red. If you want to get on the mailing list. Now, this one took me about 18 months to get. So, yeah. Very well made. It's a fantastic knife. And, of course, Lanyard fans, you guys are in the business right there. But it's a beautiful knife. So, you know, to me, it's definitely worth the carbon fiber. They have Micarta versions, um, which are some of the standard ones. Yeah, it would have been cool with a different shape as well. Yeah, I like that. Yes, definitely Libertarian Rejoice because Lanyard fans, you know, they've they've recessed the pot the wire clip the wire clip and about half of the screw head. So it's gonna be easy in and out of the pocket. You know, I like the, it's a deep recess too on those, if you can see. Really deep recess on that. What's up, G-Marine from Texas? What's going on? Yeah, Lisa and Chad are here. Oh, Mikey says his pre-order is in the next few months. Nice, that's cool. Yeah, once you sign up, you can basically, what's up, Chris Sabu? What's going on, buddy? You can basically start, you know, emailing in and checking your status. And it'll tell you about an approximate time. You know, and they're they're pretty solid on it. Mine ended up showing up like two months early, so that was kind of cool. But yeah, I dig this one. You know, I'm gonna have to test it out, but I really like this. So, and it kind of makes me think, what's up, Nicholson? 
It's going down, man. Happy Sunday. We're looking at some knives here. We're going to do a little giveaway in a little bit. Top of the hour. Some EDC stuff. But I really want to see what it looks like compared to... Let's see here. Where is that knife? Let's find it really quick. I wanted to show... Oh, man, is it not in this one? That's going to bum me out, too. Oh, here it is. It's hiding. It's because it's so colorful. It's hiding in the background. I want to compare it to the Atom from Three Rivers Manufacturing. So you kind of have that, you know, comparison between the two. I guess I can do it on this side. I love this carbon fiber, by the way. I'm really hoping I can get a set of those for that. Oh, what's up, Neves Knives? What's up, buddies? Thanks for the support. Let's show some love to Neves Knives. Let's give a little love to the Neves. Happy Sunday, my friends. Definitely do something kind for someone today. Appreciate it, you guys. And if you haven't checked out, there's so many awesome channels on here. From Big Red EC to Neves Knives. Uh, I've got some newer channels in here as well. Ethan Ruins EDC. Um, knives Fast. All sorts of stuff. So... Appreciate it. Yeah, the blue carbon fiber is amazing. So I really wanted to look at the difference between these two. Uh, the biggest thing is the Skaha 2 is, has much more thickness to the scales and a bigger belly. You know, I mean, who doesn't love a bigger belly, right? <laughs> but you can see overall, uh, no thumb studs, of course, but both liner locks. So pretty cool comparison of the two. Pretty similar you know, with blade shape, you know, this grind goes all the way through. Thickness is just about the same on the blade. It's a hair thicker on the Skaha 2. The further back you go, you do have a little bit of jimping, but yeah, some cool stuff, man. So yeah, so this, I, I really hope to get a matching set of scales for my Neutron 2 that I have. Um, but yeah, so the Skaha 2. Coming out, making a little, uh, showing us a little, little, hey, how are you? Kind of interesting because, you know, the people get them in different rounds. I'm sure they only come out, you know, so many at a time. What's up, Dane? Dane's here with us. Another member of Zach's Day of the Carry Crew. Thank you for all your support. Yes, it definitely fills the hand. And like I said, it, it feels really, really comfortable. Um, you know, I feel the pocket clip a tiny bit like up through here, but it's not pokey or anything like that. You know, and with this contour going through here, it really helps out. So yeah, buddy. Yeah, they do. I think they have like a nice Micarta version that Big Red would like, you know? Um, let's see. Oh, Neves, that's not good to hear. You had some controversy going too. Well, I hope for no controversy today. That is the goal with my giveaway. You know, we always keep it light. We always keep it fun. Uh, everybody does. All these channels do. So, Eggs and Ham, rocking it. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Neves Knives, also a member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you both for your support. The giveaway today is fully, fully supported from... Zach's Daily Carry Crew this week. So, what's up, Deadpool Lee? What's going on? Another sip of tea there. But I like it. Really lightweight. As a matter of fact, let's check out the weight on this one. I want to see what we do here. On this fantastic voyage. Yeah, if you want to be a member, there's the link right there. Zach's Daily Carry Crew. 2.73 ounces. That's not too shabby, especially for as thick as it is. Let's see about the G10 bug out. You know, that's 2.1, so almost another half an ounce for the Skaha. But you get so much more blade out of it, so much more handle as well. What's up, Paul? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew in the house. Paul, welcome, my friend. We're looking at the Skaha 2 that just came in. 
Eggs and Ham says he got two SPK 4V Sharks. Super excited. Yeah, the pattern's beautiful. That carbon fiber and the milling of it. I don't know if you guys can see the contour milling. But it just, it literally is just gorgeous. You can see how the liners are kind of nested in there all the way back. Pretty cool. A Claymore. I've had a Claymore. Uh, definitely checked out a Claymore already. So pretty cool stuff. Um, I should have my order of stuff here, I think this week. So that's pretty cool. Now I do have reviews done on all those. I did unboxing reviews on those and they should start posting this week with the new carbon fiber bug out. Um, that's the newest one that's about to come out. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so on this super, super Sunday, we have 96 people here right now. What are you carrying? What's your super EDC for today? I haven't chosen mine. I threw one in the pocket to run my errands. Now my pocket's empty. So I'm going to have to choose one for today. You're going to carry the Skaha now? Nice. Any Air Force YouTubers in here? Knife Sergeant and Slicey Dicey. Emma Emma's got the bug out. Sean T's got the mini grip. Uncle Cal has got the Benchmade, of course. The Benchmade Group Tillion. Nice, nice. He won that on here. Right on. Dane's got the Waypoint. Paul's got the Riot K2. Got the Neutron. Alex still does. Can't put it down. Lawn Ranger's got the Protech CQC7. Chris Sabu's got the Sadrin Torino. Penny's got the Proper. Big Red's got the Spartan Blades Aster. Nice one. Neon Dream's got the Benchmade Anthem. Right on. Andrew Arnold's got the Pair 3 Lightweight. ordox got the Send Cut. And what is it? Actium. I almost said Antecium. <laughs> and an old Gerber Multi-Tool. Big Red BBC. Oh, we got, a, we got a double Big Red in here. Got the ZT0452CF. Jack has the ZT0393. Blue EDC's got the paint in front flipper Zulu. Ian's got the Blade HQ bug out in satin. Jonathan Watson's got the black G10 waypoint. Those waypoints are nice, by the way. I checked out a titanium one before it went across the pond. And let me tell you, whew, it's a fantastic knife. Tailspin's got the plain Jane large Sabenza. Russ has got the Ritter Hogue. Nice. And LKG's got the Civivi Praxis. Deborah, welcome, welcome. Member Zach Stay the Carry Crew. She's got the Mini Osborne today. DNA Hanks got the double fist and coffee and cooking kids lunch at the moment. Nice. Deadpool's got the Night Hawk. Ryan Pearson in the house. Custom knife maker extraordinaire. If you want your custom fixed blade, get a hold of Ryan Pearson. Ryan Pearson Custom Knives. Some amazing quality coming out of his shop. Definitely check him out. He's got the Mini Crooked River today. Can't go wrong with those. Nick's got the new Dam Designs Wraith in red carbon fiber. Ooh, that's a good one. Olight Mini and Blade HQ PM2 Tanto. Nice one. William Letterman's got the Capara. C. Lemansky's got the Stormtrooper. Okay. That's weird. My screen just went dark. But we're still rolling. <laughs> uh, Stormtrooper Mini Bug Out for C. Lemansky. G Marine's got the Cold Steel Luzon. Ethan Ruins EDC's got the Kaiser Justice Benchman Mini Presidio 2. Kevin Nelson's got the CRM Adam. Nice. Ronald Lermo's got the full size aluminum Presidio helping me install windows. That's a solid, solid tool, my friend. Benjamin Kim's got the Rex 45 Shaman. Northwood Knife Guy, Knife Guy's got the Benchmade M4 Bailout and Proper. Nice, fast, ins, classy, CJRB, Centro, Centuria, and Carbon Fiber Day. Kloss has the Buck 110, 50th, 50th, 50th anniversary. Or no, 50th Analocos. Loxa, Loxa, Loxa. B for Baron's got the Mini Proponent Burlap. Plains Crafters got the Lion Steel with Ebony Covers. Nice. Orange Hat's got the 945 Mini Osborne. Corey Lucas. Still rocking the Butch Ball Flipper. KJ's got the Snakewood Holiday. And Cryptilian while I was out earlier. Form D Productions rocking the mini bug out. 
Lisa says it's Sunday football, so carrying our black and red Tucson. Carried it every Sunday for the Chiefs. Well, good luck to your friends there. I wish them well. I hope your QB stays healthy. I think they're gonna I think they're gonna focus on that today. Mikey Rass has the Olight Warrior Mini Eternal and Knife Joy Blue Spidey Chef Collector Collectors Club numbered, of course. Rodney Pearson's got the Mediator working hard today. Jason Brown, Libertarians, got the QSP Hawk and the Booker Sub Kalashnikov. Uh, Eggs and Ham's got the 565 2101 next to me in bed. I need to get up and go grab some coffee. Yeah, buddy. Exactly. Newfie's in the house. Anthony, what's up? Jason, your camo PM2 came today. Right on. Poncho 151's got the M4 Contigo for cardboard and work around the house today. Chad's got the Man X2 with the Stein Grabber Regrind in red. Oof. That sounds fun. Super fun. B Wax has a Scorp P4, a Kershaw Static Copper. What's up, Knife Dude? Welcome, welcome. Scott Bonds here. He's got the Mini 945 Osborne. Adam B's got the same Osborne 945. Yeah, Dane, that was awesome, buddy, that you let us check that out. I mean, honestly, that knife is amazing. Just amazing. Titanium. Mm. I have it on my list. Have it on my list. Definitely. Uh, let's see here. Did I miss any other ones? Uh, let's see. So Neves Knife says, does the Scott have, have full liners? The one I have on loan only has lock bar and feels weightless. Yeah, so the liners on this one come back to like where the clip is. So I don't know if you can see in there. They come back almost to where the clip is on the on the lock side. And then on this side, it's just all carbon fiber. So it's got like full liner on the one side with the lock bar and that's it. And pretty, yeah, it, it's definitely feeling that weightless. So is that what you're talking about? Because it's super smooth and the lockup's pretty good on it. But yeah, just that one side liner right through there. Yep, exactly. So they've tied it in through the back through there. And it looks like it ends where it locks into the pocket clip. And so I, I was reading just in the instructions they gave, they talked about not, not loosening the pocket clip screw because it actually holds in the liner lock. So that was like one of the cautionary warnings that they gave. They're like, don't do this. So Ian Goodman says, Zach, now you need to nominate the winner of the coolest super Sunday carry. Oh, I don't know if I could I could nominate just one because Joseph's carrying the Kershaw Copper Natrix. He broke both of his access springs, so he's playing around with it too much. I'm curious on on those who break springs, what you do with it every day. You know, do you flip it like you know 500 times a day? Do you pull only one side of the access bar back? Because I mean, I carry a lot of bench maids, and you know, the only thing that I've I've ever heard is you know people tweaking one side and not pulling the other side at the same time puts a lot of pressure on one side or just you know running it running it running it so i thought i broke one too of that other one and uh i was so happy to pull you know take it apart last week and found out it was just everything was loose and it just popped out by the the stop pin uh keeper's got the waypoint in a swiss army knife alox one nice Hollywood's Hollywood Tacticals here. Nice. Got the Presidio Ultra Old School today. Nice. Jason's got the Mini Freak with the AWT Aluminum Scales. Those are solid, man. Lorenzo's carrying the Mel Pardue Griptilian. Chicago 23's got the Spartan Tools. Jason Hill's got the 940-1601. That's an awesome, sweet, sweet Osborne. Love it. Born on Blades is here. What's up, buddy? Got the CRKT Zon. James Martinez, ZT0609. I'm trying to just get caught up on those. CK is carrying the Mini Osborne. Manny Z made it. What's up, buddy? Yeah, Tops Mini Scandy Grind for Tim. 
Tom left the building. <laughs> oh, man. Manny Z's got the mini tie Mononolock. Nice. That's so awesome. Oh, Contigo Asserations. There you go. What's up, Rennie? Rennie's in the house. Let's give Rennie some love, man. Rennie donated an awesome CKRT Hey Ho for Friday's live stream that we had the other night. Thank you, Rennie, so much. Looks like we got Hale Caesar in the house and Gino V in the house. Welcome, my friends. Welcome. There can only be one. Yeah, I'm just curious on those. Dude, that when they break, like, what's your normal usage of that knife? Um, because and Napster Ninja's got the Super Freak. Because, I mean, seriously, like, I honestly don't have... I mean, I the, for example... The 940 that I have from 20 years ago, up until about five years ago, six years ago, I carried it every day all the time. Um, so yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, Neve says, hey, Zach, I've got some new titanium scales on a 940. The pivot has play. You have to replace your pivot. Mine came with parts, but no pivot. My standard one has play now. Um, you should not have to replace the pivot at all. I'm wondering if they did a pivot style for one of those. So sometimes, let me get mine. So like here's a 940 with some, this is their, their limited edition from 2020 that they put out, all titanium scales. And sometimes what I found is the you, the female side of the pivot doesn't seed all the way. Um, and that's the only thing, unless there's like a washer that's missing or something like that, that would give it that play and the width. But I've, you know, on the flytanium scales that I've got on, on some of my bench maids and stuff, there's been no um, pivots. They've not included any of that. Sometimes they'll include like different backspacers because on the backspacers, it makes the width a little different because of the way they do it. Or it might be, this is another thing, it might be the fact that if you have a standard let me see if I have one. I don't know if I have a standard one. If you have a standard 940, but the scales are made for a 940-2 or 940-1 with the barrel spacers instead, those scales and stuff won't work on a standard 940, like the green aluminum. So that's the only thing I would double check is just to make sure that they're for the right 940 style because I know some of those like from Flytanium and others they're only made for ones with the barrel spacers. I think rock scales the same way. I have some from rock scales and I couldn't use them on a standard 940. Um, I had to use them on a 940-2 or a 940-1 with the barrel spacers instead of the uh, back spacer. So that's the only difference I found on those. So, well, Rennie, no, man, appreciate all the support for my channel. You know, you've had, you've given a couple things away so far. I appreciate that, you know? Those extra, those extra giveaways are amazing, you know? So, do I have a 940-2? Can you show it? I'm thinking of picking one up. Yeah, I have one. Hold on. I wish you could turn a production into a custom. You could definitely turn a production into a custom. It just depends on how much money you want to spend and what do you want to do with it. Uh, let's see, where is it at here? Where'd it go? It's hiding on me. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me get my knife tray out here. My tray of knives. Mine's a dash one, but maybe it's not seated all the way. Yeah, check it out and see if it's not seated or if it's... Uh, it may, yeah, it may have just not seated on that female side. I've had that before where it just sticks and it, you know, I've, I've locked it in and it doesn't, you know, just go all the way. And sometimes you just got to give it a little, a uh, little more love to push it in. Sounds different, but it's, you know, for the pivot. Oh, it's right in front of me. So here's my 940-2. I did put blue thumb studs on this one, but this is the carbon fiber one. Oh, big red. Thanks, buddy. So awesome when the community is so generous and engages in the giveaways. Huge shout out to you all. 
Yeah, it's definitely amazing. So this one, super lightweight. Let's give some love to Big Red for all the awesome stuff that he does on his own channel, but for all the help that he gives us here on my live streams as well. Thank you so much. This is my knife tray that I pulled some of the stuff from. <laughs> but yeah, this is the 940-1. It's carbon fiber. It's got the blue barrel spacers. I have a mini deep carry on this one, and I put blue thumb studs on it. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> KJ. Yeah, I mean, Christine, she, she made a run for mine, too. You know what I mean? She made a run for mine. I mean, she was she was throwing down some crazy links. So, moderator A-plus grading for Friday night. Yeah, there might be something that says Zach on the spine of the blade. <laughs> just a little, just a little fun laser marking. That's good. Uh, no, so it doesn't come from the factory that way at all. You have to take that somewhere else to, you know, it'd be cool if they would do stuff like that and put, uh, and put stuff on the spine of the blade for people, but <laughs> this it has a, has a, a Zach on the spine. Not the way I like to normally spell it, but I'll take it. It's, it's good. What's up, Todd Carr? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Big Red's an awesome, awesome, amazing person. So, Neves is out. All right, buddy. Thanks for jumping in. And also, let me know, Neves, what happened with that flytanium. If you need to, send me a picture or something, or maybe we can do a little video chat later. Have an awesome Super Sunday. Yes. I have a Benchmade that broken that has broken two springs in 15 or more years so okay so and then was that just from regular use there manny yeah exactly rennie it was it's a different font for sure have i reviewed the protec malibu no i have not um i did a video with that from um shot show last year where dave the owner of uh protec he pulled one out of his pocket and did a little uh, show and tell with me. So I put that up on the channel last year. It's pretty cool to kind of see what he carried and what he was using and kind of get his opinions on it. So it's pretty cool. Wow. Okay. Well, that's cool. Predator 1 or Terminator 2? Oof. T2. I like T2. It was your EDC light use. Okay. No, I, I like to know that because I, you know, I've seen, uh, and I've, you know, spent some time with a lot of the engineers and product testing that they do, especially on the springs. I mean, they have a machine that just literally actuates springs all day long, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of repetitions of those springs in a row. Um, so I just like to hear that and see that. Oh, Rennie, I was just talking about the font on the 940 spine. It was definitely just a, a different type of font. <laughs> Big Red's multitasking. I appreciate that. Yeah, Microtex. Microtex are good too. I mean, all, all solid knife makers, you know. What's up, Beardo? All solid knives. I had a Microtech and it was a SHOT Show, or I'm sorry, a Blade Show exclusive. I ended up trading that one with somebody here local. What's up, DDA? Welcome, my friend. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Um, but I also want to look at another knife in comparison to this Skaha 2. And that is the Three Rivers Manufacturing Neutron 2. So it seems like second generation for everything. Hey, don't apologize. You're not late at all. Party's just getting started. So this is the Neutron 2 in their standard carbon fiber. And of course, as you know, their carbon fiber blend has that texturing to it, which is actually nice. Being so slim, it's good to have a little texture and grip to it. 
Liner lock as well. They have liners on both sides on this one. Yeah, there's a link right there from Big Red. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, 20 CV. Um, if you go, I like the deep carry clip they came out with on that. But I think it would be awesome to see it in like a, uh, a blue carbon fiber. They did a little teaser that they're putting some scales together right now. So I hope that I can get in on that order um, to match my Atom. You know, to get that one out there. Yeah, they have a cool logo for sure. But you can see the size difference between the Atom on the bottom and the Neutron in the middle. And this is the Neutron 2, so it's the second version. And same thing with that, like, they, and they're frequently asked questions, FAQs, if you go to their website there from the link the Big Red posted. You can basically get uh, a good idea on when they're going to post their next round of knives. You know, and they have, they have a new one coming out too. I know a couple of you have it and have done some done some lookovers at it. I like it. You have a little Axis uh, lock knife, so it's pretty sweet. What's up, Transparent Knives? It said, hey, just wondering if you agree that a bug out with Kegger on Rock Skills is the best configuration for that knife. Um, I like the Rock Scale design critter pattern. I do like that. Um, and I think, let's see here. I should have the one here in my bug out bag. Um, yeah, so I have this critter pattern in titanium and you can always get, you know, this is custom anodized. It's kind of got that blue and bronze look to it. I got the bag geared backspacer as well, but these are titanium scales from rock scale designs. I've been carrying this one so you can see how the titanium, the anodizing works after carrying it for a while. Holds up pretty good. Well, it, I think it looks sweet on like a black blade, but this is the GR white ash one blade in hardware. I probably need to put like a, maybe a blue thumb stud set on it, but I like those. So that's pretty good. Rennie says, Hey, do you know if Hogue sells the tool to take off the thumb studs? Like when you need to clamp down the blade for sharpening, you need to remove the thumb studs. I haven't seen that for sale so much. Yeah, Didier, the shadow is awesome. I like it. So I, I hope to get one to at least check it out. That'd be kind of cool. What's up, Michael Morgan? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here. Concept is coming out with a full-size Main Street. Nice. That'll be a fun one. Oh, blue on the main, yellow on the lines. Oh, that's kind of cool, Transparent Knives. Yeah, and I know on Saturdays he usually does this drop of new new uh, scales and stuff and hardware. So every Saturday he replenishes the website. So that's pretty cool. And if you want custom stuff like this, all you have to do is basically email him and set up an order and he'll anodize them however you want. I've seen some really cool like purples and blues and other stuff that he's made. Um, and this is just the pattern that I picked and probably about a year and a half ago or so. So... Uh, what's up, Decour? Welcome, welcome. Rusty Knife Lover, what's going on? Jerome Voss, how are you? Yeah, they're pretty awesome. Uh, James Martinez says, Zach, how do you not do the marketing for Benchmade? <laughs> you don't have more benches than you. You know, I, I would love to do marketing for them. They have a lot of stuff going on for marketing. So I, I give huge props to their marketing team because there's so much going on everywhere. Um, it's a lot to keep up with, you know. I talk, of course, a lot to their people that, that manage their social media and some of the online stuff. And it's like, you know, the stuff they do. And I think really cool thing they've done, I don't know if you guys have noticed this or not, but they've done um, a lot of taking some of your guys' photos of their knives and reposting them. And they're like, check out this, you know, this awesome knife. And, you know, they... They ask, you know, some certain questions about it, but I think it's really cool that they're using, you know, just regular consumer photos from it. So that's pretty cool stuff. <laughs> so if you have any cool shots of your bench maids, I would say just tag them in your, in your post on Instagram or Twitter or whatever, or Facebook. And, you know, I, they've used a few of mine as well, which is kind of cool. So, oh, Blue EDC. Thanks, man. 
says you're the man zach honestly a huge inspiration i'd love to have a youtube channel like you but have you handled the gerber sumo i have not hammered handled the gerber sumo let's give some shout out to blue edc thank you so much thank you thank you so much support is amazing you guys um as you know i'm doing a lot more focus on my channel now um i resigned kind of retired from my second part-time job i've had for over 15 years so i was kind of hard to walk away from but a huge focus to just turn it back to the channel put a lot more time into this having fun with you guys so i can't wait it's been great so far and it's only been a couple days um yeah so let's see here so blue dc thank you so much um yes it would be great and you know you can always start up a channel and get rolling so big red says got a sumo he's gonna post his first impression this week there you go yep i love it nick that's fun and i will say this it was a bold move definitely didier it was hard to walk away from but you know, what I found, the biggest thing I found was I was paying. So, you know, about half, almost half of what I made from that job, I was paying back in taxes every year to the, the government. So it's like, you know, is it really worth it at that point if you're only making half of what you take home? So I don't know. To me, I was like, I have more fun doing this and hanging out with you guys. Um, and just so you guys know... There's going to be a giveaway this next week, and it's going to be for this Gerber right here, this Gerber Sajulo. I was going to sell it. I mean, I bought this out of my own out of my own funds. I really was hopeful for Gerber to turn things around, um, and I think that's why I just I haven't ordered any Gerbers lately. So, but yeah. So, anyways, this is one of those fun things that I'm going to do some touch ups on this one. We're going to get the, the thing sanded down a little bit, get it into regular use, and uh, we're going to give it away. So, yep, it's a great knife. Um, you know, they just need to work on their finishing stuff. So, oh, really, Klaus? That's wild. Well, that's after, and that's the crazy part. That's after I already paid taxes on that stuff all year. So, yeah, I just, you know, I, I took a step forward and wanted to, wanted to work with Gerber on that, and... Uh, all they said is basically, well, since you did ordered it from the custom part of their shop, which custom means they just put a different set of scales on there, the gray ones. Um, it's not returnable. It's not exchangeable. Um, nothing like that. So I can't even exchange, exchange it for the blue one they have. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm done. Uh, I'm going to just part waves with it and let somebody have fun with it. And uh, yeah, and pass it on to you guys. Why not, you know? So that'll be coming up this next week. That Gerber Sajulo will be giving away. That'll be fun. Um, ba -da -da, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Nick. That's just what it is, you know. Yeah, exactly. I have uh, I have several hundred dependents that I take care of. <laughs> yeah, so it'll be a good giveaway. Shout out to shout out to the hockey man. I was watching some hockey this morning. It's pretty cool. And the thing, Jason, the thing about it was, um, yeah, we have to pay taxes. We pay lots of taxes. And uh, one of the things about Gerber's customer services, they uh, they're all working from home, you know, which I get it. But like literally, there's nobody in the office even. So it's like I can't even take that to them, you know. So yeah, Didier, the Skaha, it's gorgeous. You know, it's, it's a, it's a like undecided thing right now because they took away the grind lines on the knife. That's kind of what I loved about the first one I had. And of course I sold the first one to one of my subscribers, um, who wanted it. And so, cause I was like, Oh, I'll get this one eventually. And this took about 18 months to get, um, it's, it's super lightweight, you know, um, liner on one side, Full liner goes down one side. Super, super lightweight. Gino V's in the house. You know, I like the whole construction of it. So I like the, I mean, the carbon fiber scales are amazing. You know, there's the, there's the link right there. If you want to get signed up and get on the waiting list, I think I want to say with the scales, 
Oh, man. I can't even remember what I paid for it. I want to say like it was like 180 or 200, something around there. And then with the carbon fiber scale upgrade, it was like another $40 or something like that. But that was one that, I, you know, when I sold that first one, I just put that money aside. I'm like, hey, when this comes up, I'm just going to pull that out of my savings and pay for it. So I had to just be be patient, you know, but I think it was well worth it. I think it was a, it was a good one. I was just kind of bummed because they don't have that trademark, you know, the trademark grind lines. But everything else they do is by hand, um, you know, and I think the only comment that I've seen so far is just how big the... Uh, how big the flipper tab is. So we'll see how that rides in the pocket. We'll carry it this week. We'll check it out and we'll do a review on it. So, um, yeah, so did yeah, it was about 18 months. So it showed up a couple months early, so not too bad. Yeah. And that, I mean, the wire clips kind of what they're doing. I mean, I would have liked to see something else, but it's what the, it's what they did. I mean, I could always put a lanyard on it and, you know, carry it on a, carry it on a big long chain in my pocket or something. Tom says, maybe you can claim Mikey Rass is dependent. I probably could. We'll have to chat later about that. <laughs> yeah, it just, it just doesn't, you know, the, the knife is very well finished and very classy. So yeah, 18 months was a long time, but. Yeah, carbon fiber is a little hard on the pocket clips. But Yeah, we could test it out. We could order a second one from them. Guys talking talking some side chat there. That's good. Yeah, right. Two pregnancies definitely. <laughs> Oh, transparent knives. Okay, yeah, I'll have to change that because I know I changed my Instagram uh, handle. It's actually Zach's underscore stuff. Um, so I appreciate that. You let me know. I'll, I'll change that over on my video description. I didn't realize it was already posting that, uh, that old one still. So take care, Greg. I appreciate you hanging out. Definitely. I know it's hard. It's like, oh, this new knife's out. And it's like, you know, two days, three days later, you know, you're like, pacing back and forth on it. So, um, have I ever heard of or seen anyone wear a flat spot into the access bar? I have not. I'm sure it's a potential to do that. I mean, it's a metal on metal situation or in chat. Welcome back. Evil E. What's up, Evil E. Welcome. But Poncho, I have not heard anybody do that. Um, I'm sure you know, in the product services, you know, life sharp warranty, there's probably some people that have done that. Um, but yeah, the titanium clips are cool. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things they were testing out with the, uh, yeah, most of the times they spin, you know, I mean, if you look at a standard bug out, you know, they, they kind of rotate on that spring. So you don't get the actual circular motion of them. They kind of stay in one spot. Um, even when you pull them back, they kind of stay in one spot. They don't rotate. Um, they do have the potential to rotate. Like right now, you could take your fingers and spin them. Um, but on these bug outs, they went with some titanium ones on the GRY-1, and they, they started getting some lock stick out of them. So only when you clean them. What's up, Randy F? Welcome, welcome. I do not, Rennie. I don't remember that one. So that's the good question, Knife Dude. So I always keep some extra scales around, some stock scales for any of the knives that I mod. So if something truly breaks on this one, like, you know, if, if springs end up breaking or something else happens that you're going to send it in for life sharp or you need to send it in for sharpening or something like that then I always keep a set of scales and just slap the old scales on them and send them in. Or in my, my, my situation, I just take them in, you know, and I have a cool video planned with them. We're actually going to show a little bit of a life sharp warranty process for when you drop them off. Um, so we got that video planned with Benchmade that's coming up as well. So it'd be kind of cool. 
They have a new process they're coming up and doing here shortly. Um, kind of with <laughs> kind of with the way that things are going out in the world. They have a new uh, a drop off procedure that's going to be happening. So I'm going to give a little video on that. So you'll see that coming up on the channel, as well as uh, you know tomorrow there'll be a, a video posting with just kind of the new lineup. Um, you know, one of their employees is going to take some time and go through the new knives and show you guys kind of what's happening. And then, uh, yeah, then you'll see some other videos coming out. Members of the channel will probably see a video drop tomorrow on the new carbon fiber bug out the unboxing video. You'll get a little early access to that tomorrow. So that'd be kind of cool. You can kind of get a good look at that one and see kind of the things about it. But yeah. Uh, right now, Ian, no, they don't do it while you wait anymore because they have to sanitize everything. So yeah, smash that like button. Heck yeah. Oh, wow. You did a 12 hour snow shift yesterday, Randy. That's a lot of work, buddy. Well, I appreciate you jumping in and joining up, man. That's awesome. And for those of you who are here, uh, a little later, let me show you. This is like my after video uh treat that i have only because we talked about it on friday so this is my after video treat right here we got the voodoo donuts we got the the voodoo on the right and the maple bacon bar on the left so we're gonna grub down on some of that when we're done with the video here today that'll be fun so we'll enjoy that so many other awesome things that they have yeah it's the voodoo stuff and if you were here on friday we got into it pretty good Oh, there's the link right there again. Big Red's got the link in there. So, yeah, exactly, DNA. <laughs> I'll let you know which is better for sure. I mean, me personally, I like the maple bacon bars. So, yeah, exactly, Rennie. <laughs> Mike, cakes and pies, cakes and pies. Yeah, oh, I'm not eating the whole thing. I'm going to I'm going to take part of it for sure. Oh, they crumble the bacon. Okay, nice. Yeah. I'm sure that's that's just as fantastic. Yeah, you're welcome one minute knife reviews, of course. Yeah, I've tried to Yeah, is that enough sugar? I'm not sure. We're going to sprinkle a little uh, powdered sugar on it too. No. It's it's a lot of sugar for sure. I did bring enough for everyone. I got the I got a dozen of them. So There'll be enough for everybody. Life is always better with bacon. Now, I've seen some people in the last day eat it all in two bites. Yeah, Zenny, that would be crazy. It'd be like, yeah, oh, I'd probably be sick the rest of the day. Then I wouldn't be able to get everything shipped out to everybody. What's up, Nate Fuego? Welcome, welcome. How you doing, Michelle? Definitely. Oh, you've never heard of bacon donuts? Oh, they're fantastic. So they take this, I mean, it's an amazing maple bar. There's only one maple bar local to me here in Oregon that's better than this one. But this is like right up there. It's like almost tied for number one. It's an amazing maple bar. But then they take two like fried bacon strips and put them on top. Yeah, <laughs> eat them like them in Groundhog Day. Yeah, that's funny. Dude, Bill's hilarious in that. Did you see that meme that somebody put out? It's like, they were talking about uh, rebooting Groundhog Day. They're like, yeah, let's do a reboot of the movie and, and uh, you know, publicize it and everything else. And then when it plays, just play the same movie again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes, a good combo of sweet and salty for sure. Okay, let's see. I'm kind of new to your channel. What's up, Lacey? Do I work for Benchmade? No, I have not. I have not worked for Benchmade yet, dot, 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 dot. Uh, I work really close with them, um, have some good good agreements with them, work really closely with uh, with a lot of their staff, and uh, have been brought in on some projects, and, you know, it's been pretty cool. What's up, Quentin? Welcome, welcome. Yet, yet, yet. <laughs> yeah, Xavier says yet. Hey, you never know, man. The, the thing is this, like, I, I have some really good connections, you know, and their employees get locked down on like, uh, yeah, you'd say influencer, definitely. You know, I work with them as an influencer for sure. Um, but it's one of those like, 
You know, the employees, I mean, they're making knives that, that nobody's heard about yet. You know what I mean? Um, be an advisor. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah, it'd be cool to have a, have a job with them. But like their employees, like they're making these knives like this, right? They're making these knives like, I don't know, six, nine months ago. They're making all the production samples and prototypes and all that. So like, you know, they're making stuff that they can't even talk about, you know? So it'd be hard for me to have a channel and work there because I'd be like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know? So I wouldn't even be able to suggest something, you know? Are you out of here, DNA Hanks? Is DNA Hanks leaving? All right. Take care, buddy. Hollywood says I wanted to start a restaurant called Better with Bacon. And it's just random food, but with bacon. Hey, you never know. Yeah, that it, totally, Poncho. That NDA would be tough to follow. Like, you know, I have an NDA with them right now. And it's one of those where it's like, you know, that's why I have to, you know, stick to a certain schedule. Um, I would, I'd probably leak a lot of the classified stuff, but you know, that's one of those things where it's like, you know, one of those, like, I, I just respect it. You know, I'm like, Hey, I want to respect the agreement I have with them. And you know, they do good stuff and they, they donate stuff to the community here, um, through my channel and other people's channels. And it's like, you know, so I just appreciate what they do and how they help out everybody. And, you know, they're just, they're, they're like a lot of the other companies, you know, you got to respect them. And so I respect the agreement I have with them and they, you know, I get to see some cool stuff and have some cool fun times with them. And that's how it is, you know, uh, Mikey says random good thought question. Why isn't there glow in the dark paint for the road lines? That's what I'm talking about, especially in the, in the rainy States, you know, we get a lot of rain here, so it'd be kind of wild if they did that finally. Uh, a lot of reflectors, but the reflectors end up coming off. So what's happening today, Quentin? How's it going? Yeah, the red dye is very tempting on those. Oh, I see. Wrapped with bacon. I got you. On Triple D, some guy did a bacon and everything back seat. Oh, back east. Oh, nice. Check that one out. Yeah, right. <laughs> Libertarian. <laughs> they have magnets in the road. Oh, wow. That's kind of wild. Big red with bacon gravy to dip it in. Yeah. Bacon micarta. Can you imagine if they started like bacon and bacon infused carbon fiber scales? It just smells like bacon. Everywhere you go, there's like dogs and cats following you everywhere. <laughs> Baconian scales. They got a 50 50 burger, half ground bacon, half ground steak. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so before we get into a giveaway, I want to ask, what's the final agenda today for your favorite snack that you're having? What's up, I Love Knives? Yeah, the Neutron 2 is out there. Heck yeah. So what's the, what's the favorite snack going? Yeah, bacon-scented uh, knife pivot lube. We'll have to mention that to KPL and be like, hey, we got a new idea. Maybe they do that on their thick, you know, on their thick lube. You can put it, uh, make it bacon because it's kind of that darker uh, brown color. So we got ribs, buffalo wings, buffalo chicken wing dip. Ooh, that sounds good. Lots of nachos and wings, zebra rolls. Ooh, nice. Pork rinds and beer, PB&J, nice. Pizza and a cold one. Heck yeah. Homemade nachos. Jalapeno poppers. Oof. Bacon turkey tacos. Pulled pork. Wings and chips. Oof. Deep fried pepperoni with honey mustard dip. That sounds delicious. Not the healthiest, but delicious. Oh, you can't mix them. Makes you sick. Well, that's no fun. <laughs> that's funny mikey jalapeno bacon poppers yeah buddy meatloaf yeah 
Nelly's making peanut butter cookies. Oh, man. I'm on my way. <laughs> Chips with caramelized onions. Ooh, that sounds good. Um, blah, blah, blah. Bacon carbon fiber. Saw a bearded gear a while back. Oh, is it just supposed to resemble it? Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, you're still boycotting, Rusty? Okay. No, I get, I get you. I get you. Ribs with the cowboy candy. Ooh, nice. Fried mushrooms? Yeah, there you go. Have some biltong. Okay, nice. Hot sticks pepperoni. Bacon wrap, maple, and brown sugar. Little smokies. Oh. Okay, Ian, I'm on the way, too. Be a little uh, road trip. Pulled pork. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What am I having? So, I'm going to have... I had a bowl of cereal this morning, kept it really, really like some just basic shredded wheat, trying to keep it, you know, somewhat healthy, a little bit of milk, um, have a donut here in a little bit. And then I think we're going with, uh, we got some nachos planned. We got some dips. Um, we have like a family dip recipe that we're going to make up. It's kind of been in the family for a couple generations. And then we're going to do, uh, we have some, this like, uh, what do you call it? It's like a, uh, not avocado. It's the uh, artichoke. It's like an artichoke kind of baked. Um, it's like almost like a meal, but you can eat it with chips and stuff. So it's pretty good. So we're going to do that. And then we have some basic, uh, you know, some basic food that we're going to eat. We just have some chicken and stuff. So we're going to barbecue that up. So that'd be pretty good. I think that's what we're going to go with. Be pretty good. If we want to get super crazy, we can tear into some Girl Scout cookies, but that's a whole different story. So, caramelized onion dip. Oh, nice. Breakfast food tonight. Yeah, right on. Oh, carrot cake. Nice. Very nice. Oh, Reese's cups in the middle. Dude, I'm I'm definitely on a road trip to Big Red's house. <laughs> be like, be like halftime. Boom, boom. Be like. Oh man, somebody's here. <laughs> Be like, pocket check. <laughs> Homebrew. Oh, burnt in brisket. Oh man. That's like the best stuff right there. Yeah, we should have a we should have a cooking show, JB. We should do a cooking special. A uh a, like an early SKL cooking special. that maybe next month. That'd be fun. We'll have to plan that out. Baked potato, chili, and chomps beef sticks. Nice. Pulled pork. Oh, pulled pork. Yeah, dude. Lots of people haven't pulled pork. Welcome back, Kiefer. We're just talking about our final snacks for today. And then we're going to get into a little giveaway. Donuts are something special. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, I went and picked them up. You know, it's special. It's Sunday here. And also the fact that, you know, we talked about them on Friday. So I want to pick a few up. Pizza, pizza and beer. Nice, nice. Did you win? Heck yeah. We can, you're always a winner, Keith. Always a winner, buddy. Best PB cookies right there. Lacey's throwing up a recipe. Ooh. Peanut butter fudge cookies with bacon. Nice. Seasoned beef mixed with homemade mac and cheese. Oh man, that sounds delicious. See, now I'm like really going crazy, so... Rennie wants to know who I'm rooting for. So I honestly would love to see like a, a repeat winner of last year. I think it'd be fantastic. Um, but I think the Brady Bunch has some stuff going. You know, I think they got a plan. I think they're going to try to get some sacks early on the quarterback, kind of rattle the cage a little bit because, you know, he had some problems with that here just a week or two ago. So it could it could turn out to be a whole different ball game. You know, you get some things like that, but... Yeah, we'll do a trade, Big Red. I'll, I'll bring some Girl Scout cookies. We'll do a trade. <laughs> Definitely. Fall off the bone ribs. Banana splits, crumbled bacon. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Love it. Evil E, you're too funny. Okay, so let's see. Did we get caught up on all that? I think so. Uh, so Napster Ninja says, are Benchman employees taken care of well? I would say yes. 
I haven't, I haven't heard any problems. You know, I, I think like any job ever that I've ever had, anybody ever had wings on the Traeger. Ooh, that sounds good. Anywhere you go, you can have problems. I don't care who the employer is. I don't care who your boss is. You can have problems. Now, I know for a fact they have some good, solid people there. Um, and to me, that's huge, you know. But I think anywhere you can have problems. So I don't know of any super crazy problems happening anywhere. I know they take care of their employees. Um, they have good stuff. They treat them well. Um, I mean, I'd like to see like some employee like special knives, you know, I think that'd be kind of cool. I know they get special stuff like cookies and things like that. And they have, you know, some different giveaways and they have all sorts of, you know, potluck banquets and those kind of things over the years. But I don't know <laughs> better than cold steel employees were. Why is it? Wow. That must be a thing, huh? But yeah, so that's one of those things where I think honestly, you know, they're, they're taken care of well. They're paid decent for what they do. Um, they have different shifts that operate. They have day shifts, swing shift. I've seen a couple graveyard postings recently. You know, I, I, I reposted their stuff to some of the local groups I'm in here on Instagram. And basically it's like, they have some jobs open across the board. Oh man, Big Red, holy cow. That's the holy smokes right there. Let's give Big Red some love, man. Thank you so much, my friend. That is fantastic, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for everything. Now I'm really going to have to bring some Girl Scout cookies up. <laughs> oh my gosh, Big Red. Thank you, my friend. Oh, yes. That is fantastic. That's awesome, man. Thank you very much. It was so much fun spending, you know, most of the day with him uh, a few Fridays ago, man. So... I had a blast. We met some awesome people. We had we had uh, some chicken sandwiches on a tailgate. That was fun. Okay, so let's get into a giveaway. Now, we're going to all vote for controversy-free. That's our goal. But just so we get this out of the way, my screen is the decision screen. So if something does happen... And if somebody's comment doesn't post, I apologize in advance. There's been, it sounds like Neves has had some problems with the giveaway. Big Red has some problems. All I can say is this. Take an opportunity. Don't post really fast, you know, because maybe it just can't handle everybody posting at the same time. So we'll leave it open for like four or five minutes. We'll let everybody get their post, their guess in. You know, it's going to be one guess only. But let's look and see first what you're going to get. Now, you're going to get, of course, Zach's stuff. You're going to get, you know, the DSKFS, the Do Something Kind for Someone stickers. You're going to get Zach's stuff sticker pack. We'll throw in some stuff from Big Red. Um, but I made a trip the other day. And, of course, you know, I'm like, where did I go? Where do you guys think I went? I went and saw my good friends at Benchmade. And I was like, you know... Because, you know, they have some stuff out, but none of the brand, brand brand new stuff's out. Because I want to tell you this, like probably in March, I'm going to do a pretty good giveaway. And it's from your guys' support. So anything that you guys donate to the channel on Super Chat or on the members of the channel, that money goes right back into the channel. So I think I'm going to go ahead, one of the new models that comes out, I'm going to buy one of those. Um, and I'm going to do a giveaway on that. It'll probably end up being in March because I don't know... If I can get it by the end of February, we'll do it. But if not, it'll be in March. But so I'm like, dude, let's get let's get some stickers going from Benchmade. And I'm like, what do I do? And I'm like, let's do EDC style stuff. You know what I mean? Um, let's see here. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> Hollywood, thanks, buddy. We got some blue lube in the new bottle. So you can see all the blue lube you have. You see how fantastic that is. It's their lubricant they use for all the knives. We have a super fun, and I don't know. I mean, you can get these lots of places, I think. I think they still offer them online. But this is a gray with the black netting and the black stitching Benchmade hat. You can get that as well. 
That'll be up there. This is part of the giveaway. Um, ba -da -da. And let's see here. What else do we got? You know, you got to keep your knife sharp, right? So let's do the guided field sharpener, right? We love our guided field sharpeners from Benchmade and WorkSharp. They have the, the custom blue with the Benchmade stuff on the on the sharpening. Uh, that's not a, that's a stone, I think. That's the diamond stone on that one. So kind of cool overall. So we're going to have one of those as well. We're going to throw that in there. And I think maybe I'll switch these up a little bit. We'll put this over here. We'll put this over here. Because we got one more thing that I'm going to throw in there. Oh, thanks, Benjamin. Oh, there's two more things. Let's give a little love to Benjamin. Thank you so much, my friend. Your donations are awesome. Thank you so much for your support. Yeah, they're great sharpeners. Um, but to truly maintain your knives, and this goes across the board, any of these will work for any of your knives, right? But I'm like, man, if you really need like, you know, Neve's knives are just on here. Like, hey, man, I bought some titanium scales. That stuff is a little, you know, the pivot didn't sit well. Like any suggestions? You need to get a little blue box toolkit from Benchmade. Now, these have, I think, the Weeha bits in them. But let me just pull it out. It's brand new in the box. But you've got some Weeha bits in here. I think it's 6, 8, and 10. And then what you can do is you can pop this out. And this goes in the top end. And now that's your driver. And it's got a little magnet in there. So your bits seat in there. And then you got this, you know, so you can get a little torque on it. It's super, super awesome because it collapses down. And you can really just put it inside itself, locks in, and you're good to go. And it's pretty thin. I mean, it's got a belt clip, so, you know, if you're cool, you can hang this on your belt if you wanted. But I have one of these just in my pack that I carry around every day, you know. So if you need the, you know, maybe a screw's getting loose, something like that, you don't want to lose it. Or your pivot's loose, you can tighten it up before you get home. So you're going to get that as well. Now, one thing that is like... What else do you need? What's up, David Lindsay? Welcome, welcome. Peter's here. What's up? David and Peter are awesome subscribers to the channel. Thank you guys for being here. I do not re recommend that either, Ryan. <laughs> What's up, AJ Brown? You have a screw loose? There you go. That'll tighten it up. Now, Backpack B is in the house. What's up, Backpack B? What's going on, buddy? Just in time for a giveaway we're doing, a little EDC giveaway. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'd love it, Hollywood. You, that would be perfect. We should start rocking those on our belt, you know, take a little pictures. Be like, we got our EDC swag on. We're good. We're good to go. We're prepared. Uh, yeah, so let's do one more. Oh, Peter, thank you so much, Peter. A little shout out to Peter. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's give a little love to Peter as well. Thank you guys so much for the donations today. The Super Chat donations are awesome. Jonathan, thank you for joining in. We're about to do a giveaway here. Yeah, we could do like a, a utility belt for sure. Definitely. Um, last thing that you need, and this to me is an essential EDC item. And of course, it's... Benchmade inspired. And of course, you're going to get this. And that's going to be the Benchmade knife roll bag. Now, it's got room right there on the front for a patch. So, let's put a patch on it. Hold on. We've got to put a patch on that before we give it away. All right. We're doing a giveaway. It's got Velcro for a patch. Perfect place for a Zach Stuff patch. Oh, thank you. Look at that. You can put a Zach Stuff patch on there. That will be perfect. So that's all the stuff you're going to get today. And I don't know if you've seen these, but these open up. They have all sorts of... They have three different rows... These are the rows, but you can just put your knives right inside those little pouches. They have three different rows. I think total to hold, let's see, four, 
eight. It'll hold 11 and then two skinny ones or two pens. So, and it's got another huge flap on the inside for Velcro as well. So you can put a lot more patches in there as well. Awesome stuff, you guys. So thank you, thank you so much. What's up, Monster Racing 38? Leland Phil. Nice, carrying the Milwaukee Fastback. Now, if you're just watching, make sure you speed up to where you're live because we're going to do a giveaway here in a second. AJ Brown, what's up? So let's see here. Did I miss anything? Swaggerama, yeah. Uh oh, speaking of patches, may have some good ones coming. Ooh, nice. I know my DSKFS patches are almost done. Hopefully those will be here soon. Those will be available for you to pick up and rock on your pat on your uh, packs and stuff. It's pretty sweet, you know. So these are all the things you're gonna get. It's just out of control. I need more room. That's it. I need more room. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, it's craziness. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's get ready for a giveaway. Let me put some of this off to the side here. So we have a little bit of space in the front, but we know what we're getting. I mean, this is like all embroidered bench made on the bag. It's it's a classy knife roll bag. I mean, you guys have seen mine. Let me show you here again. But this is what you can do with it. Like this has all my bug outs in it. So that's all my bug outs in there. There's bug outs in every row. So you can make make yourself a bug out bag or just make yourself a EDC bag. It's perfect. <laughs> yes, do something kind for someone. Definitely. Thank you again, Peter. Thank you guys so much. So today we're going to do a little giveaway and how we're going to do it is we are going to, now let me just tell you really quick. Do not guess yet. Um, and James, if you want, yeah, I don't disqualify people from winning, so you can definitely guess. Yeah, Nick, the blue stitching on it is it pops like that song from Jack or whatever that's on there, exactly. Thanks, Big Red, but yes, yeah, so. Yes, old school Zach giveaway. We're doing an EDC Benchmade style. You're getting a hat, a bottle of Blue Lube. You're getting a sticker. You're getting a Zach Stuff swag pack. You're getting a Blue Box toolkit. You're getting a guided work sharp, field sharpener. You're getting a knife roll bag from Benchmade, of course, with the Zach Stuff patch on there. Rolling. Okay, so don't guess yet. It'll be one guess only when we do it. One guess only. And... One of the things is the number spread will be between 700 and oh, there's a, almost 150 people on right now. That's fantastic. Thank you guys for being here. You guys rock. Uh, we'll do 700 and 900 will be the spread. Now, don't guess yet. I'm going to write a number down here and it's going to be for the EDC giveaway. So let me write a number down. Let's see what number should we pick? We will pick a number between man, those knives I showed earlier, man, those are all below this number spread. So I can't even use that. Well, that's no fun. Yeah, so, so Big Red put the rules on there. So did Mikey. Wait till we see a start from Big Red. But let me put this number down because I want to get the paper on the on the screen so you guys can see that it's legit and it's fair. Um, I should have pre-thought of a number. Now I'm all like brain scrambled. I'm like... Um, let's see here. So we are going to go with a number... That is between 700 and 900. You'll have one guess only. And if you're guessing now, then please wait. Do not guess yet. None of your guesses will count. So I hate for you to be disqualified. So we're going to put that under here. One guess only. 
and wait till you see a start from Big Red on the screen. And once you see a start from Big Red on the screen, then you can go ahead and guess once, guess once only, one number between 700 and 900, closest without going over. My screen that I have will be the deciding screen. Hopefully we have no troubles, but anyways, just letting you know, that's what we're up against. So we're going to wait for that. And it looks like Big Red threw up the start. Only one guess only, please. We'll make sure everybody gets their guess in. I'm trying to remember what I even wrote down now. I think I remember what it is. Now, what I would say is we need to go through, make sure we get all these ones that are being held for review or I'll prove them. We get a lot of them today. That's all right. Just make sure one guess only. Oh, Steve Kluver, man. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. We got to show some love to Steve Kluver here. Thank you. Thank you so much, my friend. That was amazing. Let's show some love to Mr. Kluver. Been an amazing supporter of the channel, so thank you, my friend. Happy Super Sunday. Mr. Kluver, you can get your guests in if you'd like, one guest only. We're doing this awesome EDC swag um, from Benchmade that I picked up here the other day. And um, yeah, it's from the supporters of the channel here. So doing a little give back, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, one guess between 700 and 900. So feel free to drop a guess in there. Big Red, thanks for all your work, buddy. I know you've been work, dude. Shout out to Big Red, man. He's been working crazy behind the scenes. So, just to let you know what he's been doing, he's hitting it. He's hitting them all. Lots of work behind the scenes. So, just so you guys know what happens behind the scenes, as a moderator, we end up with, um messages that i don't know if it's because there's so many that come in they think it's spam so like every second or third message they will actually hold for review and it pops up a little approve or remove box and we are not remove but uh approve or hide and we have to approve them all so hey knife sergeant's here what's up buddy welcome welcome thanks for getting your guests in that's awesome mr g and vt is having crackers and cheddar cheese nice a very nice one so thanks to all the moderators. Thanks to Big Red EDC for all the work today and for your donation, same as Mr. Kluver. So make sure to show some love for Mr. Kluver, you guys. Steve is an awesome person in the community. Very knowledgeable person in the community as well. So I respect that very much. So thank you. All right, so let's go. We'll leave it open a little bit longer. Just wanna make sure everybody gets their guess in. Yeah, hit that like button, man. That helps, definitely. Scott, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Lorenzo's calling people out by numbers. Yeah, so it pops up a lot. So if you can imagine, you know, 100, 165, 170 people all submitting a guest, you know, there's going to be 70 to 80 of them that pop up as a review. So you have to individually go click each one of them and say, uh, approve, approve, approve. So it takes a little bit. So behind the scenes, and I, I have to say this, Big Red, I don't know if you noticed this, but last night on yours, it didn't pop any of those up. Oh, Ian Goodman, thanks, buddy. Thank you so much for the support. Let's give some shout out. Let's show some love to Ian. Ian, thank you so much, my friend. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you so much. Show some love to Ian and Steve. Thank you guys so much. So I don't know, Big Red, if that was part of it. Like, it didn't hold any comments for review like normal. So for me, I was like, oh, my gosh, that's kind of a little strange. So 
Yeah, I mean, like, a weird one, like the one Michael Morgan just posted. Michael, it held yours for review, so I had to approve it, you know? Same with NAF Sergeant, just held yours for review. So I have to approve all those. And I know, like, Slicey's mentioned it before, Big Red's mentioned it before, uh, but those are things that behind the scene, that's why moderators are so helpful. So those of you who are moderators like Keith, uh, Big Red, Christine, Peter, um, there's a bunch of you guys that help on other channels as well. Thanks for doing that. You know, it helps, it helps keep that stuff flowing smooth. So pro tech Malibu, huh? Check out your latest video. Oh, trading one. Okay. Well, there you go. I I'm, I'm kind of holding out for a blue one. I was going to, I was going to pick one up from Ross Cutlery down in California, but they kind of put a, in-house only on there because they only had one of them so he's like oh man i already put that on the rules you know and i'm like oh that's fine man i appreciate it. those guys at ross cutlery are awesome good people down there in la so i checked out their store when we were down there picked up a little uh newport from them it was fun talk about an amazing amazing little knife shop cutlery shop i should say because they have everything man all the way to like all your barber supplies, chef supplies, everything. Yeah, the Protec Malibu is a nice one. It's a really good one. Steve says, did I ever tell Zach that I own a first production 928 of the Osborne Proxy? Ooh, nice. That's a good one. Those proxies are fun. I don't know. They didn't like take a big hold, but. Oh, they've been there since like the 20s or 30s. Oh, man, that's so cool. I saw all the pictures they have in there with uh, with all the celebrities and other people that come in. And so I know they must be just a, uh, hey, Quentin, we can only do one guest, buddy. Only do one guest, buddy. So, uh, yeah. Hollywood Tactical, throwing in a number that's outside the range. I appreciate that. Good go. Good to go. Okay, so I want to make sure that everybody got their guess in. Because we're going to go back through very, very gently and look for the winner. Yeah, those are awesome. Yeah, DNA Hanks has some amazing work that he does. And those were beautiful things that you made. Blue Lube's good. It's a tad thicker than KPL. Um, I'm happy to do a test. Once we do this giveaway, I'm happy to show you. I have some other blue lube up here. Some of the standard blue lube that I have open and I have some KPL as well. I'm happy to show you on a blade, how it moves. And it's a really good test. We'll, we'll do it on this blade right here. We'll, we'll put a couple drops on here and you can see how quick they move. Kind of shows you kind of the viscosity level of each one. So, okay. So we saw some stop signs up there. Um, let's go ahead and <laughs> Mikey, that's funny. That's too funny. So let's go ahead and pull this up and we'll see who was closest. And Big Red, I'm probably gonna need your help for sure on this one. <laughs> Mikey's automatically over. 815 was the number. 815. So I'm going to go back very carefully and pull my screen a little closer here. 815 is the number. So I will say this. If you guess that or if you guess close to that, let me know because I'll make sure to double check my screen here. Because I see an 811 from Nate Fuego. So that's one that's close. Yeah, definitely rough. I seen 813 from Leland Phil. 813 from Leland Phil. Um, let's see here. Got a plane flying over. That's good. That's good. Do we have anybody guess it on the money? Had some that were just over. Curtis is 813 as well. Okay. 816, 817. It's closest without going over. I see an 814 
from Form D Productions. Form D was 814. Big Red, what do you think, buddy? <laughs> Hollywood's like 814.99. <laughs> now let's see here. Ooh, that was close to 808, but yeah, there were some close ones. Oh, you guessed after we showed it. Okay. Well, I'll wait to hear from Big Red because I want to make sure that uh, Form D Productions is a close one that I saw. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Well, there we go. And I think, let's see here. I also just want to double check. So I want to double check if there's anybody that we didn't see. I want to check on that one as well. But Form D Productions, congratulations, 814. You were one away from the guests. Please send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. You're going to win this. We'll get it shipped out to you. My giveaway stuff from Friday and my international and this giveaway are all going out tomorrow. So look forward to that tracking information being sent to you. That is fantastic as well. But yeah, I think we did it good. Hollywood. <laughs> Throwing it up again. Thank you, Randy. I really appreciate it. You know, and honestly, this goes to goes as a thank you to you guys. Without your guys' support, we wouldn't be having these awesome, awesome giveaways. But I do want to do that real quick viscosity test um, so you guys can see. I'll leave this one on here so you know that. Well, I'm going to use the old bottle, so you'll know that I'm not doing the new bottle anyways. I'm going to move some stuff around a little bit. But, yeah, if you want to check that out real quick, I'm going to show you guys. It's pretty cool to see. It's a pretty quick example of how that lube works. So, you know, the KPL really penetrates and gets in there really well. The blue lube kind of has to be worked in or put on it when it's taken apart. It will work itself in there, but it needs a little help. So let me go ahead and show you that on this knife right here. And we will do KPL and the standard blue lube. And I'll shake them both up just so we're good. Thanks, Northwoods. Thanks, Quentin. Uh, do I have the heavy? Uh, I think I do. Hold on. Yeah, we'll do the heavy as well. Might as well. That's a good idea. Hold on. Let me grab it. I think it's over here on the shelf. KPL heavy. Here we go. Got some KPL heavy. Every once in a while, I'll use the heavy, but generally speaking. Yeah, yeah exactly. But like, you're talking about lube? <laughs> We're talking about all sorts of lubes. So, oh, look at that. We got an upside down label. Well, that's cool. This is a one off now. So we have KPL heavy, which is the knife pivot lube in a heavy. We have the standard KPL. It smells like cinnamon. Heavy does work good on detent tracks. Yes, definitely. And the standard Benchmade blue lube. So, yeah, so let's go ahead. Let me see if that's going to be the best blade. Maybe we'll do a bigger blade. Yeah, maybe we'll do a bigger blade. We'll do this one. We got a little more landscape on that one. So we'll do them in the order that they're on there. So we'll go ahead and put a drop of heavy on there. Yeah, some of that oil works good too, DNA Hanks. What's up, Ronan? Happy Sunday. So we'll put a drop right here. We'll try to do it right near the top of the grind line here. Gotta squeeze out the heavy there. Okay, we'll try to do a similar size drop. It's not gonna be that scientific, obviously, but, and then we'll do the standard KPL in the middle. Oh, that's a bigger one. And you can see that standard KPL is already starting to move. And there's just a little tiny bit of traction on that. And then we'll do some blue lube right here. Okay. 
So this is a fun little test. I like it. I'm glad you guys brought it up. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and tip this blade down. And you can see basically how already that, how it starts moving. Oh, Ronan, thanks, buddy. And you can see how quick the KPL, the standard KPL in the middle moves. How the heavy kind of stays in place. And the blue lube's about half of what KPL is. So you can imagine if you drop that in on your washers or top of your pivot, those kind of things, how quick it moves. And this is going to be about eh, 30 seconds worth. Let's show some love to Ronan, man. Thank you so much for that awesome donation. Thank you very much. Yes, happy Sunday. I love this APB, by the way. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, 20 on the KPL for the win. So we'll see, you know, which one gets down to the edge first. It's going to be KPL. Yeah, so you can see already how much those have moved. And look at the heavy. It's literally stayed in place almost. So that's pretty awesome, you know, if you ask me. The blue lube works good. You know, you can see how it works it in there. But overall, you can see how much difference it makes, the heavy. So if you want something in your, de you know, if you're on those detent tracks or things like that, or if you have a knife that you, you know, can't really get into, how much more that KPL will move and get down into the mechanism, whether it be your washers, anything like that. And the blue works good. It just takes a little bit longer to work in there. So, which this is about a 30 second test, but I think it did pretty good. So that's a pretty good example of what your, you know, these top three will do. And I know like the, the, what is it? The Nano? The nano oil, you know, a similar, that's so funny. The label's upside down. But yeah, it's unaffected by gravity. <laughs> it's defying gravity all, all together. But that just gives you a good idea right there of what you're looking at. Ronan, thanks so much, buddy. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Yeah, you're welcome for the test. You know, anytime you guys think of something like that, I'm, I'm happy to show that. Yeah, the Lucas oil works really good too. So... Y'all have to try it on the bacon. I think they said one of them was okay, but I don't know if I want to trust that. So, Ronan, thank you so much. That's awesome. Yeah, it's heavy. It's thick with two Cs. I mean, look at that. That was like seriously holding a vertical for over 30 seconds, and it barely moved. So, shout out to the heavy, man. It's doing its job like it's supposed to. So, yeah. So, we're wrapping up uh, our, our live today. Uh, the grease. I haven't tested out the grease yet. I've only had my my uh, my Sabenza out a couple times, so I have tried EDCI. I actually use it. I use it right here. Let me shake the bottle up, but I use it right here. This stuff is fantastic, especially if you have stuff. You're out. Maybe you're out camping. You go to the beach. You go out around some salt water. You know, you want to spray and clean some stuff off. This is, I think, one of the only ones that's um, approved for food food use as well. Because no petroleum, things like that, no hazardous materials. I mean, you're not supposed to drink it, but you know what I mean? Cleaner and protectant, it's pretty good. All right, one minute knife reviews. I appreciate it. Thanks again for chatting yesterday. That's good. And mineral oil does work good as well. I do have some of that sitting around. I use some of that mineral oil on some of my G10 as well. So if G10 starts drying out, you can take a little bit, put it on like a, like a, you know, a cloth towel, you know, cotton towel, those kind of things. And it works really good for that. So doing good, Quentin. Doing good, buddy. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, right before you chew on glass. Okay, right on, right on. <laughs> All right, nice, fast. Take care, buddy. Thanks, Randy. You too, man. Silicone impregnated cloth works well. Yes. I try to actually just use my, my microfiber towels. You know, I use these, as you can see, a lot for just wiping things down, spray things down, wipe them off, those kind of things. Get some good ones for that. So I do want to give a huge shout out to everyone who donated today to the new members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. 
a huge shout out to Big Red EDC. Um, huge shout out to all of Zach's Daily Carry Crew for your support. All of those who donated in the super chat today. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to my subscribers. You know, without you guys watching the videos, giving your feedback, you know, interacting with me, um, it wouldn't be the, the fun that it is right now. So it, we're having fun. We're doing things like this on the fly. You know, I love that stuff. You know, if we can show you how things work and do a quick comparison, I'm in, you know, I want to, you know, and that's why I have so much, you know, different product so we can show these things. So huge shout out to you guys. Like I said, uh, we're ramping up to get one of the new um, bench maids that's coming out. We're going to do a giveaway on that. Hopefully by the end of the month, if not the beginning of March. Um, so we'll be doing that as well. That'll just be a bigger one that's coming up that you guys can plan on. So we'll have some fun with it. Um, I'm getting close to 8,000 subscribers. Once I hit the 10,000, there's going to be an epic uh, 10,000 giveaway. So that'll be super, super awesome. Got to get a little drink of tea here. Yeah, Scott, thank you so much. Thanks, Didier. I appreciate it. Nick, always have a great Sunday. So awesome, you guys. There'll be some fun videos coming up this week. Um, Going to try to plan some stuff coming up that you guys will have fun with as well. So we will go ahead and get this wrapped up. You guys have an awesome Super Sunday. Have fun. Relax. Enjoy your day. Get ready for the week. Remember, do something kind for someone. Really, 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 really makes a difference. And I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. I appreciate all your kindness in the community. I appreciate all the support for myself and everyone else that's here. But most importantly, you guys take care.